Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another flip through slash review. This one by request. So we're going to look at the Indigo Angel Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Charles Virtue. It is 44 cards and a guidebook retailing for $18.99, although I'm sure you can find it for different prices considering this is older. Uh, published by Angel Therapy, I'm assuming. I'm not quite sure, but um, I have been working with this a little bit and I will give you my thoughts and opinions after we flip through or whilst we flip through. But the back says, Indigos are strong-willed, intuitive leaders and innate spiritual skills, or excuse me, with innate spiritual skills, including the ability to clearly recognize the truth. Yet in this complicated world, even Indigos need assistance in knowing the next step to take in their mission, as well as relationships and other life areas. That's why Charles Virtue, an Indigo himself, and his mother, aha, Doreen Virtue, created these Indigo Oracle cards specifically for Indigo children and adults, along with their parents and teachers. Each of the 44 beautifully illustrated cards contains a special message from the angels. The accompanying guidebook explains the meanings in a way that is simple and to the point. After all, Indigos are on a mission and have no time to waste. So let's get into this. Nothing special on the inside or the bottom. All right. So as far as the guidebook goes, it's pretty decent. Um, you just get a little bit of info about being indigo, working with the angels, clearing your deck and how to ask a question, consecrating, shuffling the cards. And then you have three, uh, three card messages here. So, um, not too many spreads on this, but I don't really feel like with this card deck specifically that you need a huge plethora of spreads. And then, um, you do have, uh, the card meanings here, which were pretty good. I have to say, so, um, let's flip through for $18.99 or cheaper. I feel honestly like this is a pretty all around decent deck. Now I've said on my channel before, I'm not one that, uh, usually works with angels or angel, um, uh, th theology or that sort of a thing. But occasionally I do like to use, um, a deck that involves them. Um, usually I work with that sort of a deck if I'm wanting to communicate with, uh, certain spirit guides. So caveat, there's that. <laughs> So let's get into it. It is beautifully done um, in silver on the edges. It is glossy and I am absolutely loving the back of this deck. It's so pretty in that knotted weaving kind of look. And then um, the cards themselves, they're pretty decent with the card stock. Um, no complaints really. They're flexible and they snap back. So I'm not hating that. I'm not a big fan of gloss per se, but this is not, you know, a, a deal breaker for me. Um, however, you have to be careful again with the edging here. They did stick a little bit. They weren't too terrible sticking together, but, um, that might happen. All right. So let's take a look. The art is beautiful. Um, I got to see who did the artwork. I'm not positive about it. So I'll let you know in the description box if I can't find it while we're doing this video, but it's gorgeous. And I feel honestly like the themes in this deck are a great all around deck for a beginner, for any kind of situation that you might want to ask a question about, or, um, if you want to do a card pull a day, it's pretty great to work with. Not going to lie. Um, accurate as well, which I wasn't expecting. Um, I feel like the messaging in the guidebook is pretty good. Um, it gets a little deep as well. And there is actual diversity in this deck, which I was surprised to see. Um, just cause it's an older deck and I never, I'm always surprised when I see a lot of diversity. And if you hear noise, I've waited all day to film because there were people working on their yards and seems like construction outside. I'm going to say landscaping and, uh, they stopped and I'm like, yay, I can film. 
starting back up again. So I do apologize. I do like that they have the rounded corners because for me, um, the decks with a little bit of a sharp corner, it's a little more difficult to shuffle. It might poke and prod you a little bit in your delicate skin in your hands. <laughs> And to be fair to the deck, it isn't overly religious. Um, it just, it talks about angels. It doesn't talk about a specific religion uh, or um, uh, God, if, like a Christian God or that. Like, even though there's a Mother Mary card here and some archangels, it wasn't, at least in my opinion, overly uh, Christian or religious um, again we're talking about an angel deck so um, you know that's that's bound to happen you're bound to get some religious aspects but um, that to me does not bother me at all um, I'm pretty open with what I use and how I use it um, so it just is your preference like I said this is a pretty um, overall rounded deck in my opinion especially if you are a beginner and you want some extra support this one's so pretty I love the messaging on a lot of these cards. They feel very um, comforting. It's not, uh, it doesn't feel uh, negative in any way. It feels very much like a supportive uh, energy. Um, I have cleansed these, so, um, you know, it's just the energy of the cards and myself that I've put into it. So. It's a very comforting deck and it shuffles really well. And you can already see that some of the foiling have scratched or dented a little bit. And for me, I've said it before, I will say it again. To me, it just adds character. Um, I want a deck that I'm not afraid to bang up just because I am a chaotic shuffler, as you can see. <laughs> So this is the card that popped out that we will read in the guidebook, the info there. And that way you'll understand um, how it will be read if you were to purchase this yourself. Okay, again, they're not numbered, but they are in alphabetical order in the guidebook. So we have You Are Loved. And I have to mention the borders real fast. There isn't a huge thick border, which I love. Um, I'm okay with thick borders if the art is easy to read and easy to see, but um, sometimes they can be a little too thick. This is just great. Um, the little line there is a perfect little cap to it, and um, I love the, the title of the card down below. You really do get the whole card artwork. All right, you are loved. And it says everyone in your life for a specific reason. Oh, excuse me, I can read. Everyone is in your life for a specific reason. This card asks you to realize that deep down, people truly do care about you and want you to succeed. Sometimes indigos step into anger when they feel as if people are trying to control them. Know that this time in your life is very temporary, and before you know it, you will be making your own rules. It's okay to go along with what others say, as long as you feel that the rules are based in love and wisdom. So detach for a moment and allow yourself to see the situation through others, through other people's motivations. The angels love and respect you unconditionally and are always on your side. So, you know, there's no real keywords. There's no real, you know, um, quick message to it. However, 
Um, in the guidebook, it is said that you can use these um, cards however you want to intuitively. So if this is a different message that you're getting intuitively than the one in the guidebook, then it's perfectly fine. And to be honest, that's how I feel with most decks. Um, it, what, whatever you're um, picking up intuitively, the first thought that pops in your head when you see this card is what it's meant to um, have that reaction to. Hopefully that makes sense. So um, I think the messages in here are beautiful. I feel like they're comforting. I feel like, you know, they're that gentle push as well. Um, there's some cards that, you know, help you to really kind of see a different perspective as well. So is it worth $18.99? Definitely. Is it worth taking a look into? Definitely. Um, I like I said, I don't really know much about Doreen as a person or Charles, to be honest with you. This is the first I've really known of him. Um, but I know there's, she's said that she does not um, agree with the decks that she put out with. She found a new religion or what have you. I'm paraphrasing. Um, but I feel like if you connect with the deck and I feel if you um, connect with the message, and you um, cleanse it and you make it your own, I feel like it'll work for you how it should work for you. Um, again, not bashing on Doreen or anything of the sort. Um, I just, there's one deck that uh, I've used of hers, her Angels deck, I believe it is. Um, Angel Power deck, her tarot, that I don't really connect with at all. However, there are other decks of hers that I will be um, also reviewing that I have connected through. Um, her animal spirit uh, deck was one of them. So, uh, or animal tarot, excuse me, um, was one of them. So check it out if you are um, connecting with it. Um, don't let the negative connotation of Doreen's name um, prevent you from uh, experiencing a deck that you might uh, want to dive into. That's all I'm saying. Um, however, this one specifically, I really do like. I like the concept. I like the fact that it's like a warm hug when you are working with it. It's not overly religious. So if you are one that's on the fence because it is um, having to do with angels, um, I I just say, check it out. See if this is something that you, um, you know, want to uh, get involved with. And other than that, I feel like I'm rambling. So, um, as far as the wonderful person who uh, suggested looking into this deck, go for it. I think it is a great price point. I feel like the cards are pretty good quality for the price. And it's just such a sweet, um, sweet and loving deck, I feel. I don't really feel like I have any more adjectives to describe it <laughs> in my brain right now. But thank you so much, guys, uh, for watching. And if you have any decks that I have not gotten to yet, have not um, reviewed on my channel or unboxed, let me know that in the comment section and I will do my best to get to them. Uh, I'm still getting through the other decks that people have requested. So please be patient with me. Um, they are coming, I swear. And um, yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think about this particular deck. Is it something that has been on your list? Is it something that intrigues you? Is this a concept that you're interested in? Or do you have it and you love it? What are your thoughts? I love to know what they are. So leave those down in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of this video. That way you'll never miss an upload from me. All right, again, thank you, thank you so much, and I hope you're doing wonderful and having a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.